Hello and welcome to Art Bites from the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Kim Richards. I'm an education assistant at the museum. And today I'd like to share with you Patricia Scobie's print, Night Scenes, Windstorm. This is a relief rolled etching created in 1984. Let me introduce you to our artist, Patricia Patty Scobie. She grew up in a military family and moved around from place to place, but considered her grandparents' farm in Missouri as her base. She learned to sew from her grandmother, and she credits these skills as things that she still uses today in her bookmaking process. She first took art classes when she was 13 at the Nelson Atkins Art Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. It was a watercolor painting class. Uh, the, uh, the teacher was very experimental with what they had her, the students paint. Um, he brought in watercolors and food coloring and they painted with these. And she credits this um, experience with um, uh, the development of how she uses color in her work today. She continued art classes in high school and decided that she wanted to pursue art in college as well. She attended the University of Kansas and got a bachelor's of fine arts in painting and also took classes in lithography and found that she was very interested in the printmaking process and wanted to pursue that further. After traveling some, um, after a graduation in 1976, she uh, applied to master's programs and attended the University of Wisconsin-Madison and achieved a master's in fine arts and printmaking there. And this is where she developed her book making uh, skills and interests. She felt like it fit with her work because it she considers her work very narrative. She currently lives in Concord, Michigan and has a studio there. She's carved out a, a, a career as a creative independent artist and um, teaches paper making and book making um, workshops as well. These are some examples of the books she's made over the years. Uh, you can uh, see this great use of color throughout. And there's also, often you'll see hands floating through her pieces, forms of these figures uh, floating throughout. And um, she'll uh, create her books with different sized pages. Um, maybe they're rolled like the one here in the bottom right in the flood. The pages are rolled and kind of circle around each other. In the top right, this book, The Back of Time, opens in the center. The bindings are on either side. I'd like to, to spend some more time with uh, Night Scenes, Windstorm, and look at some of those things, those themes that run through her pieces. This was created in 1984, so right around the time she was graduating from her master's program. Um, you see these hands in the forefront that just kind of hint at the beginning of action. Uh, you'll see those floating figures uh, throughout the piece that kind of um, work your eye around um, the piece and take it all in. And then these uh, great etched um, lines of energizing color, also creating some, some energy and excitement in what you're looking at. Since Scobie considers her work narrative, I thought it would be interesting to ask ourselves the question, what's going on in this picture? And as you come up with different ideas about where it might be happening, what might happen next, how it makes you feel, ask yourself, well, what do I see that is um, bringing these ideas to mind for me? As you spend some more time with this, I hope you enjoy the journey of um, Night Scenes, Windstorm. And if you'd like to see more of Patty Scobie's work, uh, please go to her website. And as always, thank you for joining us for Art Bites.